Today's topic is ionization energy. But before start discussion, just talk a little bit about the process ionization. Ionization is a process or a reaction in which an ion is formed. But the question that comes to mind that what is ion? Ion is an atom or a molecule that has some charge either negative or positive and in an ion number of protons will not be equal to number of electrons. So there are two types of ions according to their charges. Cation atom or molecule that carry positive charge and number of protons in the nucleus of that ion will be more than number of electrons. On the other hand, an ion is a species that carry negative charge and number of electrons will be more than number of protons. We know that in a neutral atom, number of protons in the nucleus will be equal to number of electrons in the outermost shell. It means that when electrons are removed or added in the outermost shell, a neutral atom is converted or changed into cation or anion according to the removal or addition of electron to the outermost shell. So let's have an example. Lithium which belongs to first group and second period. First group is a group of alkali metals. So lithium it is the first element of second period that has two electron shell. It has three protons in its nucleus. It has two core electrons and one valence electron. But if energy is provided then one valence electron of lithium is removed. Now lithium will have positive charge and carry more number of protons than number of electrons as you can observe that there are three protons and one valence electron or outermost electron is removed by providing energy. This is called cation and the process in which one electron of lithium is removed called ionization energy. So ionization energy is the amount of energy required to remove most loosely bounded electron from the outermost shell of an isolated gaseous atom to convert it into a positively charged ion is called ionization energy. By looking at the equation, you will come to know that M is an atom and energy is provided to it. This energy will help to remove outer electron of atom as electron becomes excited after absorbing energy. This energy is called ionization energy or first ionization energy as it is being used to remove first outermost electron. And now M that is a neutral atom is converted to an ion that is cation. This energy is called ionization energy but you have to remember that electrons are removed from gaseous atoms because in liquid or solid state atoms will be associated with the other atoms and will be more stable whereas in gaseous state atom will be considered as an isolated atom. So ionization energy is specified for isolated gaseous atom. It is generally not applicable to solid state or liquid state as this, these states are more stable than gaseous state. 
we know that atoms or elements have been arranged in periodic table on the basis of increasing atomic number so when we will have a look on the periodic table we will come to know that atoms at the very left side of the periodic table they are more reactive having large atomic size and when we move from left to the very right side of the periodic table there is a group that is noble gases group or inert gases group this group is called most stable elements as their outermost shells are completed and they have more stable electronic configuration than the elements at the very left side of the periodic table it means that alkali metals or alkaline earth metals they tend to lose their outermost electrons in order to get electronic configuration of noble gases so let's have a look on the variation of ionization energy when we move from left to right across a period and when we move in the periodic table from top to bottom in a group when we move from left to right across a period in periodic table ionization energy increases atomic size decreases because with the addition of one more proton in a nucleus nuclear charge increases electrons are pulled by the nucleus more strongly since outermost shell becomes more closest to the nucleus at the very right side of the periodic table atoms require more energy to remove outermost electrons so ionization energy increases so trend of ionization energy across the period here you can see that this is lithium with three valence electrons and atomic number is 3 having large atomic size but when we move from left to right along the second period we will come to know that atoms that is fluorine at the very right side of the periodic table you can observe that size of lithium is much more than size of fluorine and here only one valence electron whereas in the outermost shell of fluorine there are seven electron so when size getting smaller and protons are increasing in the nucleus nucleus become more able to attract the outermost electrons strongly so when nuclear charge increases as you can see there are nine protons in the nucleus and there are three protons in the nucleus so protons which are positively charged they become more stable to attract the outermost electron strongly this is the reason that size of atom at very right side of periodic table is much lower than the size of atoms which are in first group or second group when size become smaller electrons require more energy to being removed from the valence shell this is the reason that ionization energy increases and it becomes very hard to remove the valence electron when you move towards the right side so these elements have different range of periodic ionization energy now we will see that what is the trend of ionization energy along the group 
When we move from top to bottom along a group in a periodic table, ionization energy decreases. And reasons behind this phenomena is that atomic number increases along with the number of successive increasing shells, whereas atomic size also increases since electrons are held loosely in the valence shell, whereas lesser energy is required to remove electron as electrons are getting away from the nucleus by the addition of more and more shells so ionization energy decreases this is the trend of ionization energy along the first group the first element of the first group is hydrogen when with one proton in the nucleus and one valence electron there is only one shell in which electron is accommodated and when we will move from top to bottom you will come to know that atoms they are having more and more shells along with the addition of more and more electrons in these successive shells In this diagram, you can observe that hydrogen is the first element of first group is having only one electronic shell and when you come downward with lithium having two shells, sodium having three shells. Similarly, rubidium which is the last element right now in the diagram, it is having five electronic shell. It means that when we move from top to bottom in a group, ionization energy decreases. This is clear that this valence electron will require more energy, energy to be removed as compared to the valence electron in the rubidium because this electron is far away from the nucleus as compared to one valence electron of hydrogen which is pulled more strongly by the nucleus. So this is the reason that ionization energy decreases when we move from top to bottom. So in this group rubidium having lesser ionization energy as compared to all the elements which are above rubidium. So we can say that order of increasing ionization energy is from rubidium to potassium, sodium, lithium and hydrogen it is increasing and we, when we move from downward energy will be decreased.